they're determined, dedicated and direct. It's a marginal game about marginal gains. New HBO hit industry is capitalising on drama fans around the world. I've never seen anyone put their IQ on a CV before. <laughs> Set in the finance industry, the eight-episode series follows a group of young graduates who compete for permanent positions at a top investment bank in London. First move's always wrong. Industry is now streaming on Binge. From first lady to TV star, Michelle Obama is stepping back into the spotlight in a new children's cooking show. She will play a supermarket owner in Waffles plus Mochi. The show is about two puppets who are trying to become chefs. She will also be an executive producer for the show, which streams on Netflix from March 16. Tina Turner, Jay-Z and Carole King are among 16 music legends nominated for this year's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. To be eligible for nomination, the artist's first commercial recording must have been released at least 25 years ago. Dionne Warwick, the Foo Fighters and Mary J Blige are also in the mix. Inductees will be announced in May. The young American poet who stole the show at President Joe Biden's inauguration almost did it again at this year's Super Bowl. Amanda Gorman honored wounded warriors and frontline workers in a pregame performance. Today, it is they who every day honor us. The weekend won rave reviews as this year's halftime entertainment. Sir Elton John and Sir Michael Caine have united for an important cause. Oh. What was that, Elton? That was me acting. OK. The legendary pair feature in a humorous campaign where they audition to reassure the public they'll be safe after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine. Well, at this short notice, you won't find anyone bigger. Thank you. Hello. My name is Michael Caine. The ad is part of a wider effort to counter scepticism towards the jabs. More than 12 million people in the UK have had at least one dose of a vaccine. And that's your wrap of what's happening in showbiz.